introducing our vlog to you guys. Yes, so this is our vlog. Vlog? Vlog? Or vlog? It's vlog. It's vlog or? Vlog. 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 No, no, no. Vlog. Vlog. Vlog or vlog or vlog? Oh, that's a letter. Let you all comment on it. Today, we are going to introduce you guys about cultivation theory. What is cultivation theory? Cultivation theory is a social theory which examines the long term effects of television that influence the audience. So, cultivation theory developed by George Gardner in the late 1960s. It represents the, a shift from the limited effects paradigm of Paul Loverfield that had dominated in, since 1940s. Yeah, he also had a gradually long term effect, but they are very small over time. Unlike the hypothermic leader theory, which does not have any involvement of time periods. So we can say that Gabner has identified two types of TV viewers, which is heavy type viewers and the light TV viewers which heavy TV viewers will cultivate a sense of the world as a violent place and they also perceive those as a place are uh, more violence in the world than they really is. So as we know, violence is a universal language that understands by everyone. We always feel that what we don't understand. This is why George Bradner created Me First Syndrome. Its effect of television watching are not immediate, rather it continuously nurtures and shapes viewers' perception of the world around them. Simply say that the media is brainwashing us because the media tend to focus on the negativity in the world. The drama that we watch in real life, such as CSI, most of the foreigner terrorists are acted by Arabs, Hispanics, and African American actors. When we see and meeting all those people in real life, we will feel scared and bad of them because of the television cultivates the mindset and the thinking towards them. And this is why seeing computer games is a long-term effect which can be small, gradual, indirect, cumulative and significant. Huh? Is that true? Then I would like to test it for myself. Bye. Bye. According to Kenneth, 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 no, no, not Kenneth. Sorry, it's Kenneth. No, no, no. Don't Kenneth. No. Sorry, it's Reef and Ness Media Equation. According to Reef and Ness Media Equations, my has not involved to automatically grasp that what is portrayed is not real. So we can tell that what's on TV is not real, but our mind doesn't necessarily believe it. So the cultivation analysis is the method of which Josh Gabner and his colleague at Pennsylvania and the Bird School for Communication link their content analysis of American television program to the study of mass media effect. So you cannot underestimate the television content as the television content can shape the view of the heavy viewer who then have exaggerated the fear about the level of violence they expect to encounter in real life. So the violence on the television make the viewer more afraid, less alert to the real world, and also subsequently more prone to suffer repression. <laughs> In the mass media perspective, 
People at TCU are likely to be influenced not only by the television, but by also the other media, other peoples and experiences. The mass media is only one of the eight major agents of socialization, but television just one channel. So if the same message underlie all popular medias, then a light viewer may be strongly influenced through exposure to television while the other mass media. However, some studies have also considered other mass media from this perspective and have dealt with topics such as age group, gender role, ethnic groups, and also political attitudes. A study of American college students found that heavy soap opera viewers were more likely than light viewers to overestimate the number of real life marriage people who had affairs or who had abortions and also who had been divorced. In the family view of cultivation theories, Potter 1993 suggests that children who watch with parents and siblings most likely have a different exposure condition, condition than those who watch alone. Family value may infiltrate the viewing as audience members ridicule certain characters, portrayals, and group and applaud others. Those who watch alone will not experience such a feeling during television. One of the researchers on Dream make the point that viewers don't usually use people on television for social comparison. We are not worried by the contrast between how people on television look and live and the way that we do. If we will, then the heavy viewer will be more concerned about their appearance such as health and their weight. Because television actor and actress tend to be young, pink, attractive. In conversely, the heavy viewers are in fact less concerned about their health. To analyze the effect of one, yeah. Bradner collaborated the data from his content analysis of television with the survey data from people who were classified based on the amount of time they spent on watching television and questioned about their views on violence in the world. Using a survey, George Bradner focused on four attitudes. So it is about like viewers predicted their weekly odds of being involved in violence for one in hundred. While heavy viewers say that they are one in ten. Secondly, it is fear of working alone at night. Women were more afraid than men, but both sexes who were heavy viewers were overestimated the criminal activities, believing it to be 10 times more than the figure in the kids. So, it is true that watching more than 4 hours television will have a fear of walking alone. In a survey of about 450 New Jersey school children, 73% of heavy viewers compared to 62% of light viewers gave their answer to the question that asking them to estimate the number of people involved in violence in a typical week. The same survey showed that children who were heavy viewers were more fearful about walking alone in the city at night. They also overestimated the number of people who commit serious crime. So I think I need to better go back home now. Yeah. Heavy viewers believe that about 5% of 
of society is involved in law enforcement in comparison light waivers estimated 1%. Lastly, general mistrust of people. People who were heavy viewers are more tempted to see other people exchange and motive more negatively. As if now, you also don't believe what we say. George Gardner has also reported evidence for resonance, which is also a double dose effect, which may boost the cultivation effects. This is how to occur when the viewer everyday life experience are congruent with those depicted in the television world. For instance, since on television, women are most likely to be the victim of the crimes, so women heavy viewer are influenced by the usual heavy viewer in mainstreaming effect, but are also led to the feel especially fearful for themselves as a woman. So there are some application to the cultivation theories. There are some various studies have supported the claim that those who watch television more frequently often display a higher tendency of being depressed, lonely, and also sense of alienation, and have feelings of mistrust and think that the world is a malicious place. Yes. So, the exposure to television will also further strengthen the position that acts of violence are a natural response to a situation of conflict. Over the years, research in the field has diversified and today, cultivation theory is applied to all the studies on health, religion, sexual, political orientation and many more. So, the cultivation theory has been widely used in the study of violence in the televisions. This theory has been used to explain why the children, it's not why, it's about how the children who watch violent cartoons become violent themselves. Repeated exposure to violence on television may reinforce the existing belief that the world is a dangerous and unsafe place. Wow. So what have you been up to, man? You, you haven't heard? Heard what? No. I haven't left this house in five years. Five years? <sighs> Why not? You remember when the Twin Towers were hit? How everyone went into lockdown, glued themselves to their TVs, just us and Peter Jennings. Taking the nation through it all, rock steady like he was. And then by like September 15th, most everyone got up, went back to their normal routines. Not me. Homeboy stayed on the couch. Why? The way I see it, I got everything I need right here. I order out for grub. I got the phone for chit chat. Entertainment and info from the tube. And then came the iPod and TiVo. Oh. Huh. I mean, as if to further assure I maintain my position on the couch. And the best part is that's guaranteed reliability for my friends, my loved ones. Yeah. 
It's dangerous out there, man. Hey, Eddie, does Brian Williams look a little pale to you? Yeah, he always looks pale. N not just pale, waxy, wan, almost consumptive. Something is seriously amiss. So what do you think? Well, the semiconductors are shot, the tubes are barely holding on, and the high voltage block isn't blocking. Which means? Well, which means you keep using this set, and the circuit boards are going to go. And when they do, it won't be pretty. Well, there must be something we can do. Try to keep the set from overheating. But even if you do, it's just a matter of time. And not much of that. I'm sorry, pal. It's burning up. You know, maybe this is a good thing. Maybe this is what you need to keep you moving forward, taking more baby steps to free yourself of your fear of the outside. You don't understand. Well, then help me. Okay, now my heart's starting to race. Cold sweat cleats the forehead. Lump in my throat the size of a cantaloupe. Trouble breathing? Chest about to explode. Okay, that's enough. I understand. Come back inside. Okay. It's been that way for six years. And that whole time, Jason has been here with me. You named your TV? Of course. He's my constant companion. My faithful window onto the world. Hey, hey guys. Thank you for watching our video. Hope oh. you guys can understand our theory that we just explained just now. Yeah. yeah. Do you got any comments? Just comment. Yeah. Yeah, hit a like, give us some feedback. So, thanks. See ya. <笑><笑>你的頭一般沒有了